to welcome you to our Hispanic Heritage Assembly. Buenos dias, les doy bienvenido a nuestra Asamblea del Mes de Herencia Hispana. This is a very multicultural school, and as you know, we are always celebrating the many cultures in our school. So this week we have been celebrating Hispanic Heritage, and many of your classmates and teachers have put together a wonderful show. So I want to remind everybody of our check etiquette and protocol, and how we respect everybody who is performing at all times. We're going to start with the presentation of colors in the national anthem, and as we know, the protocol for that is to stand silently, remain standing silently through the presentation of colors and the national anthem. So at this time, please rise silently. Silently. That's pretty good, but we still need a little more silence. Thank you. Please enjoy the wonderful show. Thank you.
Turn the music off! Hey. Well, now that we're ready for learning, let's discuss today's topic. I am this pen. Any thoughts?
victory. We're not Europeans. We're not Indians. We are Americans, and we refuse to leave under the oppression of the crowd. Yeah. Oh yeah, somebody about your book. Victory has already been won for Venezuela, Colombia, and Ecuador. But the Spanish army still holds Peru. We must force ahead. Viva la revolución! Viva la revolución! Well, this is Simon Bolivar. And he tries to invade Spain because by the 1800s, Spain had begun to mistreat its South American colonies. Bolivar, Bolivar, why does it sound so familiar? No longer shall we let the Spanish control our trade. No longer they will tell us that our blood is impure. Compadres, each day the roads of size down get weaker. Today is the day that the roads will break. The similarity to the U.S. Revolution is because Bolivar and other South American leaders were inspired by the United States independence from England and the promises of democracy. Many have compared Bolivar to George Washington. Bolivia is named after George Washington. Amigos, we must move forward before dust is approaching. We will surprise the Spanish armies and liberate the rule. We were born under tyranny, but our children will live under democracy. Viva la revolución! Viva la revolución! engulfed by civil war and many innocent citizens were persecuted against by vicious dictatorships. I was from a revolution. the most famous painter in Mexican history. Yes, you must be talking about my wife, Frida Kahlo, the selfie queen. Very legit, but to get back to my point, Mexicans did not come to America. Mexicans were already in America long before it became the United States. Only through war and colonization, Mexico lost its land in the United States. I depicted many of Mexico's fights against the brutal Spanish and American colonization in many of my work. So, if Mexicans were already here, why is it fair for the government to be kicking them out now? Is it fair? No! No! 